Yarnabees, how are you? So, let's catch up. Uh, the last video that I did was a little rough. I'm really sorry that I just kind of dumped on you guys. I was having a really bad week and uh, I probably shouldn't have done a video because I was pretty down in the dumps. And I kind of went bleh and just you know, puke negativity all over you guys. And I'm so sorry. I really shouldn't have done that, you know. So I've taken a bit of a sabbatical and uh, got my head on straight. And now I'm back and I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> so, so let's get back on track, okay? Um, oh, my health to have my mic on. okay there we go see <laughs> still not quite there <laughs> holy cow okay is that better can you hear me now jeez <laughs> oh, uh okay so i was telling you guys that my car uh was given to george because george's car went guess what I got a car. Yeah, I'm so happy. Um, it's not a new car, but it's a new to me car. It's a 2014 Chevy Cruze. This, I've never owned a car that was that new before. I've always had old cars, older cars. And um, when Sandy Duda was talking about when she got her new car and she was fighting with her um, computer system because, you know, she was trying to do her Bluetooth and all that and the car was talking to her and she was fighting with it. I get it. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> um, this one doesn't have a really sophisticated one where you can have, like, everything hooked up to it and all that kind of stuff, but it's sophisticated to me you can hook up your bluetooth to it and i'll tell you i'm bad at that uh i got finally got my bluetooth hooked up to it but trying to put um phone numbers in it and stuff oh she wouldn't shut up she just kept you know oh if you want this say this if you want that say that and i was trying to say like delete get out stop something <laughs> So I had to delete all the, the stuff and, uh, oh, it was just a disaster. I still don't know how to use it. But whenever I get in the car and I'm on the phone, it clicks in automatically. So I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, so, but um, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's got that fancy system in it, but yet um it doesn't have like you push the button and your mirrors move and stuff like that. My old van had that. And my van was like a 2002, I think it was, or something. And um, this car doesn't have it, but yet it has a fancy screen. And I'm just like, mm, okay. You know, so here I am trying to adjust my mirrors and I have to reach over it. And with my back the way it is, I'm just like, oh, for God's sakes. But you know what? It's been a long time since I've been in a car. Uh, I, geez, when did I get rid of my car? I want to say, well, it was, it was probably about seven years ago. No. Yeah. Seven, seven or eight years ago. Um, no, six, seven, six years ago, maybe. And... I got rid of it because my back was getting so bad that I couldn't get in and out of it without my back going out. And I went, stepped up to a van, right? Well, we got the van because it was a, you know, a substitute just in case George's van went, then he'd have a backup van and that would get something else for me. Well, I saw this car and I fell in love with it. It was so nice and the guy screwed up on the price. So 
it was supposed to be uh, about 5,900, I think, somewhere up in that price. But he put down 3,600 or something. So we grabbed it and it's beautiful. I'll show you pictures or I'll show you a video clip here. Okay guys, so here's my new car. Isn't it pretty? Don't know if you can tell, but it's emerald green. Like it's a really deep green. So pretty. And inside, it's nice and clean, it's nice. <laughs> so, oh. yeah. So this thing here is my nemesis. See if I can turn it on. Yeah, whoop. This little machine here is my nemesis. Okay, enough with that. Um, trying to do the Bluetooth thing and everything. Ugh, what a pain in the neck. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. It has some sort of capability on Star and whatever. Still haven't figured out what this button is. So if you guys can tell me, that would be great. <laughs> is that how I turn my Bluetooth on or something? I don't know. So anyway, but it's, um, I have my stuff in the back for doing deliveries and whatever. But yeah, I'm really liking it. It's the trunk is huge. So back around <laughs> so I am absolutely thrilled with this car it's, it's, I mean it's so pretty I'm so happy so happy oops take my keys out but you guys I actually I've got a fob again yay and and look it's got one of these weird these weird keys it's like a switchblade <laughs> Awesome. Look, I got my yarn bee on here that Sandy from Left is Right Crochet gave me. Look at this, it's so shiny, you can see me. Hi! <laughs> so, yeah, so this is my car. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, guys. Gorgeous, hello. That green hit me so hard because I'm a, I'm a Taurus. I was born in May. And emerald is our color, right? Our stone color. And holy cow, I saw that. And it was all, it was kind of dusty and everything. It was in a used lot. But I saw it and went, I have to have that car. It was more than George wanted to pay. But you know what? I told him, I says, you know what? This car is going to last me a long time. And he was like, yeah, okay. And now... He sees how much I love this car. And he went, yeah, okay, I made the right decision. <laughs> Happy wife. <laughs> I, I just, I absolutely love this car. It, you tap the gas and it just goes zoom. I have to really be careful, right? I have to really watch my speed. But uh, it turns on a dime and it's just wonderful. Is it hard to get in and out of for me? Mm, a little bit. Uh, the first couple of days, my back was talking to me and I have to try and remember, don't twist, get out, right? I keep hearing Sandy from left to right in my head, Sandy, don't twist, don't twist. <laughs> Going, okay, so I have to put one leg out and then kind of twist a little bit and then take my other leg out and push myself out. So as long as I remember that, I'm good. And I better remember that because... I'll tell you in a minute what I'm going to be doing because I have to get in and out of the car a lot. Yeah. Because I got a new car and because I have some guilt uh, that he paid more than he wanted to pay. <laughs> uh, and also, for some reason, my disability is going down. I don't know why. Is anybody else having that problem? Um, yeah. 
my disability is fluctuating really significantly and I don't, I don't get it. But um, I, we decided that we were going to sign up for DoorDash. Uh, George signed up for DoorDash and Uber Eats and I signed up for DoorDash and Instacart. <sighs> I haven't, I haven't had a job. I was medically retired in 2008 and I haven't worked since then. So this is um, not only a learning curve, but it scares the crap out of me. Um, I found out that I can supplement my income. I can make 15000 a year over and above um, my disability without it affecting my disability. I have heard that you can make quite a bit of money on DoorDash, but we're on an island, right? So it's going to be very limited in how much I make. If I was in the city, I'd be running my bag off, right? But we're not. So, but it is quite busy here. I do see DoorDash and um, Skip the Dishes in restaurants all the time. And they're just like in, out, in, out, in, out. And I'm like, well, there's got to be some, some money in this. So I decided to bite the bullet and do it. I signed up and it took me about ooh, three or four days before I actually pushed the dash button. <laughs> uh, so yesterday, uh, George had one job in the morning and then he came home and he says, you know, do you want to try it? And I was like, Hoo. so I went, okay, but you're coming with me. Right. And he's like, okay. So I hit the dash button and boom, a job came up right away. And I went, Oh, <laughs> like, Oh no. Oh no. He's like, we we got this. He used to deliver pizzas and stuff when he was younger. So he's just all over this and just oh excited like a kid at Christmas. I couldn't believe it. I was like, he's like out the door and in the car. And I'm like, oh. so he did the first one for me. And all it was, was um, somebody had ordered two bubble teas. That's it. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, why would you do DoorDash and just order a couple of tea? Like, that's expensive, you know, but whatever. Um, and so he went into the restaurant, he grabbed the stuff, he came out and he drove to the house and then he went down and thank God he did, because if I had done that one on my own, I never would have found the apartment, you know, because it was kind of downstairs and I was just like, okay. So then uh, the next one that came in, I, I hit finished dash and then boom, another one came up and I guess it was like a lunch run or something. And all of a sudden I was like, I know this restaurant, <laughs> this restaurant is like three blocks away from where we live. And it's one of my favorite restaurants. It's a pho restaurant. And so I was like, I know where that is. So we went down there and I went in and I was all like, hi, I'm DoorDash. <laughs> It was like, oh my God, I'm like, I'm all important. <laughs> so I get the order, I come out and uh, we go to the, the house. And again, thank God George was with me because it was, um, it was at the hospital, but it was off to the side. It was a, a seniors facility that I didn't even know existed. And we had a little bit of trouble finding it. We actually had to ask um, uh, an emergency or um, ambulance driver where this was. <laughs> so we finally found it. And because of the lockdown in the um, residence, uh, all the residents are locked down. I had to go to the door. I had to knock on the door and of course they're looking at me and I'm like, uh, I got an order, <laughs> right? And they won't, wouldn't open the door. And then finally somebody came and unlocked the door and asked me who, you know, what I wanted. And I says, I, I got an order for so-and-so. They didn't know who this person was. I'm like, oh my God. So 
I, she says, okay, hang on a minute. She went to go and find somebody else. And then I hear a voice behind me going, you can just leave it at the door. I'll be right there. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe she had a smoke break or something. I don't know. But uh, I had to leave it at the door. I had to walk around her and then go. And uh, I was just like, wow. You know, and I felt so bad. You know, these seniors are sitting there and they're looking at me with this look like, hi, come talk to me. You know, and it just broke my heart. And I just thought, oh my God. You know, like, I just, oh, it was awful. It was awful. Oh, whew. not going to cry. <laughs> So anyways, so I did two dashes yesterday and I felt pretty good about it. And I thought, okay, so I'm going to probably, I've got some bags, some thermal bags that are coming, uh, tomorrow, no, Wednesday. And I ordered this big pizza box that holds like three pizzas. And I, I got these thermal bags. And then when I did that order yesterday for the drinks, I was thinking, Oh, what if I get drinks? Like, how am I going to carry that in my car? So I ordered this, uh, it holds three, no, six coffees. And it's this little carrier. And I thought, okay, there, now I'm set, right? Good to go. I am ready to go. So yeah, I am going to be off and running on my own, probably on Thursday, <laughs> maybe Wednesday. We'll see. And, um, yeah. George says, well, this is going to be good for you because then you'll actually get to know the town that you're in. <clears throat> and I'm like, what? Because he's on the road all the time, right? So he knows all the streets and all, the, you know, I'm just like, you know, he's like, how can you not know this road? And I'm like, because I never come down it. I go to the store. I come back. That's it, right? Like, I don't have a reason to be driving around. Tia even knows this town better than I do right? Because she likes to go off and explore. So, um, I was like, okay, fine. You know, I'm going to do this, right? It's hooked up to GPS. So it shouldn't be that hard. I hope. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my new thing now. Right. Don't know how much long it'll last, but you know, and then George is also, uh, for the times that he's not working or he's got downtime or whatever, it'll be good for him. It's like in the winter time and stuff when I don't drive in the snow, he can do it. So, so it'll be good for both of us. So there, my adventures. Uh, oh, I got a package from Miss Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. I asked her if she could send me some um, yarn, yarn bee scrubology scrub it. She sent me some of this before and I tell you I fell in love with it because the scrubby stuff that we've got is crap it's crap it's like thin and oh it's awful stuff it's hard to work with it cuts up your fingers uh I just don't like it at all when she sent me this stuff I was like what the hey like how come you guys get this stuff and we don't um, all of my U.S. yarn bees, probably you guys all know about this. Uh, but for the Canadian ones, this I'm telling you will change your life. Uh, if you can get a hold of it, um, I mean seriously, shout out to your subscribers. See if see if somebody will send you a ball of this because it it's fantastic stuff. Um, it of course I didn't bring my glasses in. It's 100% nylon. It's a bulky five, and this color is aqua. I just I absolutely love this. I had a lady that wanted me to make her some scrubbies, and I went yes uh so thank you so much sandy for sending this to me um, and you, you know this stuff is amazing um but then yarn b and and all that from hobby lobby is just amazing anyway to us canadians 
Um, so I went and made, <laughs> I, I made a couple and I sent her a picture and I says, okay, so how many do you want and what color? She said, I want two of each color. Okay. So I'm trying to grab them. Here we go. <laughs> I made all of these two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten of them. Yes, I did. And this pattern is from Glenda. Uh, mm, hello. Come on. What's her name? Creative Grandma. Woohoo. Oh, my. <laughs> Uh, I just absolutely, I mean, this pattern is so easy, guys. So easy. I'll put, put the link down below. And I, look at this purple. This purple blew my mind. Look at how shiny that is. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> oh, man. Um, I just absolutely fell in love with this stuff. I really did. I, if I could get more, I will get more because I really want to make some of this stuff, um, for when we start doing craft fairs, maybe. Um, but look at this, look at, look at that shine. Ah, uh, so yes, I, I made 10 of these for her. And then she said, oh, I forgot to bring them in. Hang on. Okay. So then she said to me, um, can you make me some face cloths or some dish cloths, but make the ones that have like the holes in them, like so that they're not so tightly woven so that the, um, the water goes through it and soaks up. I was like, sure I can. Cause I just love working with cotton. <laughs> not, but the crafter secret, I think it is. I, I forgot to bring the ball in. <laughs> uh, Handcrafter's Secret, I think it's called. I actually love working with that yarn. Like it's not, even though it's 100% cotton, or is it? I'll put this, this stuff here. Um, it is soft, like really soft. And I just absolutely loved it problem is that I find that the, that cotton likes metal hooks, right? Slides better. If you've got a wood hook or you've got a, um, any other kind of hook, like the furls, my favorites, uh, the cotton doesn't like it and it sticks and it splits and it, it does all this weird stuff. So I had to use, um, my they're they're like hmm. anyways they're metal hooks <laughs> i'm doing really good today i think i need more coffee <clears throat> so i made her these i'm in the process of making the second one and this is a herringbone design apparently you can't really tell but uh yeah so I'm hoping that this is going to be what she wants. I'm going to send her a picture today, but all it is, is the crisscross stitch. And it's, you do one double, you skip one, do a double crochet. Then you go into the back of the double crochet and pick up the first loop and do a crisscross. Then on the next row, you do the reverse. You skip one, you do a double crochet, and you go on the front of the loop and do a crisscross. So it's, I'll, I'll put the, um, the video down below of the tutorial. So yeah, so I'm going, Hey, I wouldn't mind some of these too. So I think I'm going to make up some for myself. Yeah. But the, uh, they were really easy. And I, I'm not one for making dish cloths guys. I'm really not, but this was fun to do. And it was easy. And then I made, whoops, my own design. What's this one? 
and this is a double-sided like big um and this one what i did was i did the first row of single crochet and then i went and did um the front loop all the way across and then on the other side i did the front loop again all the way across and i it it ends up you go around and around and around and it creates this pocket and when you get it to the size that you want then you just take both sides together and you do a single crochet across and boom you're done so it gives you this big thick fluffy kind of um, cloth so yeah so there you have it uh, is there anything else I wanted to talk to you guys about I think that was pretty much all I have for now I think I'll probably remember something later and go darn it you know but anyway uh, so there you have it guys um, I'm talking to you guys about these on another video so I don't need to talk about that uh, I think that's it for now guys so thanks for joining me and yeah did I tell you I hit my 2k <laughs> yeah I think I did <laughs> so thank you all for joining me I love you all I'll try really hard not to be MIA I just needed to get my head on straight and and be able to come back to you in more of a positive light uh so <laughs> uh so okay I will talk to you guys later love you Mwah. Thank you so much for all of your support and encouragement. And I wouldn't be able to do it without you. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>